Hey guys, and uh, welcome to Ultimate Greatness, and today we have uh, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Uh, this is obviously uh, the sequel to Uncharted Drake's Fortune, and uh, yeah, I mean, this franchise is very well known to a lot of people. Uh, in fact, Uncharted 2 is one of my favourite games of probably, I don't know whether to say all time, um, but it's definitely up there, um, just purely because I don't know what what games I'm putting it next to. That like that's the thing. Um, but um, yeah, when it came out, I really enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, it was definitely a really good good game. Came out at a really good time, and uh, in a really uh, weird way, um, kind of changed my life in a way. Um, so not to get too emotional or dive too much into that, but um yeah uncharted 2 i hold very highly and uh because we haven't done a um because we haven't finished the trilogy of uncharted um i was supposed to get it done before lost legacy but obviously that failed so now i'm just kind of casually playing through uncharted 2 even though i haven't even finished uh uncharted lost Le legacy yet um yeah i um, just sort of play through the the uh Uncharted 2 and 3 before I did uh, Lost uh, Legacy and have that on the channel. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the content. And, uh, yeah, obviously I've rambled on a little bit too long. But, yeah, no, Uncharted 2 definitely has a spot in my probably... In, it's definitely one of the games that means a lot. To, it's definitely a game that means a lot to me. Um, yeah, but uh, I guess we'll uh, get it started. And, uh, yeah, it's sort of rambling on we'll yeah get uncharted 2 among thieves uh, started all right here we go i did not tell half of what i saw for i knew i would not be believed marco polo on his deathbed 1324 <sighs> my blood. That's my blood. That's a lot of my blood. Yep, he is uh, pretty fucked up at this point. Yeah, I think at some point we might have fucked up. At some point. Um, something, I think something turned left. Uh, and it wasn't just a little glance to the left, I think a hard left. Um, but yeah, we'll push through. Alright, jump up here. Alright, so we'll continue going up this train. Ah, oh, man. Alright, quickly, quickly, before it breaks. Yeah, good. Yep. Alright. Alright, let's go up. Mm. Uh, 
Come on, get up, get up, get up. Alright, good. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we need to get off this train like ASAP. Jump! Oh god, I thought I mistimed that. Yeah, I'd rather not lose my grip at this point. It's probably a bad idea. Flynn. A drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. Am I going crazy or does Flynn kind of a little bit look like Sam? A little bit. Oh, no. Not not like yeah, full on, yeah, but yeah, enough yeah, to be yeah, like, so if that was Sam, I'd be like, who were killed trying to lift something maybe that's Sam. Out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know. I just looked at his face for the first time probably since Uncharted Four came out. Speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate, Drake, Nathan, Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Alright, look. Mm. I've got it all figured out. Go in through the sewer. Loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. That's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Mm. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. So what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers so so somewhere out there there are 13 ships loaded with the Empress treasure waiting to be found yeah and that is what your client is after hey, look at this lamp it's covered in Mongolian script it must have been a gift from Kublai Khan the light of the great Khan shelters, shelters the, fate the fate of the, of the 13. 13 Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp something that pinpoints the site the lost fleet. Mm. So we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? <laughs> what the hell? Mm. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I 
All right. <laughs> yep, nothing could go wrong at all. Nothing could go wrong. Okay. Alright, obviously that's blocked our exit, so even if we wanted to, we couldn't go back. And that's probably blocked our exit too. Um, Really? I thought I hit. Apparently not. Climb up here. Mm. Yeah, I think he's going to be taking in that for a little bit. Telling me what the hell is going on. You mean <laughs> Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes mm -hmm. you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. Mm. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm -hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together this time. I see. Mm. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Hmm. So there's some more flashbacks. And we're now back in, I'm assuming, real time now. Like it's mm, technically real time. Gotta hurt. 
Istanbul four months uh, earlier. You sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may mm. fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. Mm. So we're in. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable. You cocky bastard. Hmm. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. Right, enough chat. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. All right. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. I think we'll uh, end the video off here. All right. So this has uh, been uh, Uncharted Two: Among Thieves. This is. Uh, this has obviously been the first part in the series. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the content so far. And uh, yeah, really can't wait to play some more of Uncharted 2. Uh, as I said uh, in the intro, uh, this game does uh, mean a lot to me. Um, so yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah, really can't wait to play more of it. Because uh, um, yeah, because obviously this is pretty much one of my uh, most favorite games. Um, I guess I want to say of all time, but yeah, I don't know what games I'm putting in that pedestal, so um, yeah, but without further ado, I guess we've reached to the end of the video, so yeah, so if you like the video, please like the video, and if you want more of my content, please subscribe, and I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in another video, thanks.